Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2024 BMW M2 Coupe in black sapphire metallic, six-speed manual transmission. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M2 Coupe in black sapphire metallic. I just hit unlock on the key, got the headlights on there. This black and this design just looks so menacing, it's so wide. And let's just do a walk all the way around the vehicle before we get into all the details. Profile on the side looks amazing. Love the rear quarter, just how much it sticks out there is so wide. Tail lights look awesome. I'm wondering if any of you saw what uh, Adro had done with the tail lights by extending them onto the trunk lid a little bit further. What do you guys think of that? I thought it was looked pretty neat. And um, I also like some of the things that people have been doing with Alpha N and their fenders and their hood. I think all of this is going to be something that we'll see uh, a similar design to when we finally get the CS reveal. So let's look at all the details. With black sapphire metallic, it reflects everything. So this is almost like a black mirror finish. And you can really see that defined uh, power dome right on the hood there. Coming down into the rondelle, we've got the horizontal slats on the kidney grill with the M2 badging. Everything looks awesome blacked out like this. Let me go ahead and hit unlock again so we can get the headlights to come back on. So that looks really good, and we'll do some pathway lighting, so that's what the low beams will look like as well. Now this one does have the adaptive LED shadow line headlights, so awesome design there. This iconic headlight shape with one headlight on each side for the 2 Series, I think has really uh, suited this design really well. And when we come around to the side here, we do have the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear double spoke 930M wheels in black with that massive blue M compound brake there. And I'm happy that this actually all just lined up for the, uh, the video here. That looks really awesome. Fender, extremely wide. We have, uh, I even really like this area of the car as well. It's kind of indented a little bit where the door is. Fenders pop out, got sort of that box design. And I like how the rocker comes out. And we also have the M wing mirror in black. That looks awesome. Black window surrounds only with the M2. This one is optioned with power sunroof. New style antenna there. And I just want to give you a look here so we can see that line very defined here where the rear quarter starts to widen. And from the top, you can just see how much that is actually sticking out. That is the 20 inch rear. That looks awesome too. We have a black spoiler on the trunk lid. Walk all the way around to the back here. So very wide, got the vertical reflectors on each side and got the quad exhaust tips there. And look, it's like literally like a reflection. You can see me there. Now we've got the backup camera here and I'm just gonna press and hold the tailgate release button there. There's also a micro switch under here we could press. So once this opens up, inside we've got some floor mats. We have your front plate bracket, which I hope doesn't get on the front. Uh, we have the release levers on each side to fold down the seats in the 60-40 split. And we've got the netted area, grocery bag hangers here tire inflator kit with wheel lock key and tow hook in there and here European vehicles may have a safety kit here uh, not in Canada and we've got a little handle on each side here so that we can close this without touching the exterior of the vehicle now when we come around to the passenger side that's where we're gonna find the fuel cap door it is connected to the central locking system we're looking for 93 octane and uh, it's counterclockwise, one click to open, clockwise, one click to close. A little spotter to put this, BMW M recommends Shell V-Power. We do have those new style door handles here, so it's just a lift up. And once we open up that passenger door, 
we see we've got Harman Kardon. We have M illuminated highlighter in the door panel here. We have uh, black Vernoska leather inside of here with blue contrast stitching. So this is actually my first time seeing these seats in the M2. Normally we see the black seats with the M highlighter colors. Um, so this one does still have the M tri colors on the stitching, which is really awesome. M2 illuminates on the headrest. And because it's the M sport seats, we do have uh, headrest height power. And we've got the aluminum M door sill. 2024, the power seat controls gain these white accents with black controls instead of silver uh, controls here. And we've just got the lumbar side bolster here. Carbon fiber trim here as well. iDrive 8, manual transmission. And if I lift this up over the shoulder, the seat will move forward allowing us entry into the rear. So back here, again, blue stitching actually looks really good. I'm actually really liking this choice. Headrest can flip up. Uh, if nobody's sitting here, they can stay down like the way they are. Pass through through the center, no armrest on the M car. We have the coat hangers on the back of the B pillar and on the back of the vent, uh, there's some, some vents there on the back of the center console. Also got some vents down here under the seat for your rear passenger's feet. And uh, let's go ahead and open the driver door next. All right, if I open the door from the driver's side, so right in there, again, we see that uh, blue contrast stitching. I really like that. We also have the M illuminated highlighters, window controls, side mirror controls, pockets in the door. There's the little button there for the tailgate release. We also have Harman Kardon. And this side we have, again, uh, lumbar side bolster. So that's really awesome. Another shot of these awesome seats. I love them. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I prefer these over the M highlighter seats. M highlighter seats a bit louder. This is a bit more subtle, but man, I don't know. This looks actually really good now that I've seen this. Inside here, we've got the exterior lighting controls. We've got the M string with the M tricolor stitching, carbon fiber on the uh, the face, and we've got M1 config, M2 config buttons in red. Beautiful airbag cover here, and let's take a little closer look at this modern day security device for vehicles. The gear selector looks awesome. Kind of miss the illuminating ones from back in like the E46 days. Open that up. Got some storage space in there, cup holders, USB 12 volt plug. Open this up. You have uh, some space here with USB type C. And we have head up display in this one. We have the universal garage door here as well. And we've got sunroof. So it's nice that it's still black headliner up there, but uh, um, you get to open it instead of uh, being sealed. Got some microphones on the ceiling on each side. We've got the light that turns on when you open the mirror and the visors. And without further ado, let's pop the hood down here. This is a clutch pedal in case you're wondering. One, two. So we lift this up to reveal the beast. This is the S58 3 liter inline six twin turbo. We have 453 horsepower, 406 foot-pounds of torque. Got this nice triangular strut brace. These little divots indicate the number of cylinders that are here. We have positive battery terminal. We have negative battery terminal. We have washer fluid. Nice tidy engine bay. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. All right, what a beauty. I'm just going to do one more lap all the way around the vehicle before we conclude the video. Now, one thing to keep in mind, uh, all my manual transmission fans, myself included, uh, if you do spec a manual transmission G80, G82, G87, uh, you will lose the remote engine start feature. So no three clicks on the, uh, the lock button to get that to start. The car will still have uh, ventilation which allows the car to cool down just using the ventilation system no uh, no engine ignition on but uh, just keep that in mind I don't want anybody to make the mistake of assuming that it's still there now obviously there's aftermarket solutions but just something to keep in mind overall this vehicle is absolutely gorgeous 
Uh, the person buying this car actually had almost the exact same spec in an F87, so it's interesting to see them come back and spec out their G87 in almost the exact same way with the six-speed manual transmission. What a car. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW M2 in black sapphire metallic with the black Vernoski leather with the blue contrast stitching inside, and of course, the six-speed manual transmission and the optional sunroof. So what do you think about this car? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll have the pricing information in the description below. Uh, please follow me on uh, Instagram. It's at Alan BMW Durham. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>